Hey y'all and welcome to the first official Tuesdays with Tamoria. I am Tamoria from Transparently Tamoria where I transparently articulate all things lifestyle. Um, you can get anything from marriage to maternity to motherhood, you name it, we're going to talk about it. Um, you can meet me here every Tuesday, <clears throat> every Tuesday evening. Um, it's just easier for me to get things done around this time because my children are being occupied by their dad. I have two daughters and a son on the way. I'm 33 weeks and five days pregnant. And today we're talking about maternity. Um, we're going to play catch up so y'all can get to know me and my pregnancy. I can get to know y'all, you know, comment whatever you like in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe, like this channel, and go ahead and hit that bell at the bottom to uh, stay current and stay up to date, you know, with the videos. So I'm going to break this down into three trimesters, first trimester, second trimester, third trimester. I'm officially and currently in the third trimester. We're almost at the end. I'm so ready and I'm so excited about uh, meeting my son. So first trimester, of course, my pregnancy test all said yes. The hospital's pregnancy test said, nah. They were like, nope, you're not pregnant. You know, I would not take no for an answer. I'm just not the person that takes no for an answer. So um, after about a couple of days, I went back to the hospital and I was like, listen, I'm pregnant. There's a baby. Somebody need to figure out what's going on. So they were, you know, running tests course they could not find a baby they couldn't find anything um a couple of days later they were like you know what we're just gonna bring you in every two days we're gonna test your hcg levels and we'll go from there if we start seeing your hcg levels rise we'll give you an ultrasound so i was like okay um first hcg test was a complete disaster it was so low they were like there's definitely not a baby in there so um uh, two days later i went back hcg hcg levels tripled two days later Again, HCG levels tripled from the first triple. And they were like, the only time, you know, we see this is when there are twins involved. So I was like, okay. Um, I went from not being pregnant to now I'm pregnant with twins. And they were like, yep, pretty much that's what it is. So I was like, all right, um, go in for my 10-week appointment. Oh, you have gestational diabetes. After I took my glucose test, I completely bombed the one hour. Um tanked the three hour and I was like okay they gave me a needle some test strips and um a true metrics uh monitor and a book and was like here you go you have gestational diabetes good luck bye and you know let me go out y'all I do not I have the slightest idea I had the slightest idea of what I was supposed to do with that stuff I literally had to watch a YouTube video I was pissed I was like they could have at least showed me what I was supposed to be doing with this stuff because I'm I was so clueless so once I figured it out um you know I was pricking my finger dieting I did not exercise I was not I, mm -mm, I just couldn't do it I didn't have the energy I didn't have the strength after running behind my two kids all day I just could not at the time I was teaching so I was teaching the fourth grade class um here at one of our local schools and just going to work was so hard and my husband with COVID and wearing a mask trying to breathe on the mask being pregnant always hungry moody sick just emotional it was ridiculous and my kids were seeing it I was seeing it my children were noticing it and I was like you know what no this not gonna work so I had to I resigned um and let another teacher take over my classroom and then um here we go second trimester find out the gender of the baby oh my gosh it's a boy yes but, and there's always a but, there is always a but, um, here's my anxiety, oh, black boys in the world today, it's just not made for us, you know, not made for them right now, oh, and by the way, you have a circumvalid placenta on top of your gestational diabetes, gestational diabetes means you're going to have a big baby, circumvalid placenta means you're going to have a baby that's too small, so y'all telling me I'm gonna have a baby that's in the middle like I don't get it is my baby gonna be normal or is he not is he gonna grow or is he not gonna grow is he gonna be too big or is he gonna be too small like these were the things that was running through my head and my anxiety just started just going crazy and it was just like oh it was it was it was a mess I I really didn't know what to do and I'm like what the f 
is a pl what is that what is the circumvalent placenta and pretty much it's a placenta deformity where your placenta is is huge it's really big and it's sitting um i mean i guess it doesn't really matter where it sits but it's it's really big and it's gonna it takes all the nutrients away from the baby from the fetus so i was in a situation to where i was like so what do i do so my doctors were like okay well we're just gonna monitor you you know and i'm like okay well if y'all not worried then i'm not gonna be worried that's what i said that's what came out of my mouth my mind i immediately called my best friends when i walked out boohoo boohoo crying in tears britney trudy like y'all they tell me that you know i have this i have that i don't know what i'm gonna do and they were just as confused as i was and the doctors were just as confused as i was and i was just confused as the doctors was and i'm just like i don't know and my best friend trudy was like you know what we're just leaving it in god's hands we're not worried about that we're not accepting no bad news period so you you know it was it was it was that third trimester comes um I was trying to go for a home birth. I'm talking about I walked in and doctor was like, home birth? Pew. Yeah, right. You're not having a home birth. It's not happening. Um, absolutely not. We're not signing off on that. Uh, you know, now you have polyhydram polyhydram hydramnios. Polyhydramnios. I think that's how you say it. Which is <laughs> too much fluid in the in the uterus. Now, on top of the gestational diabetes and on top of the circumvalent placenta. And of course, my mind and my anxiety had me sitting there Googling what it was. And I Google it and the first thing that came comes up in all capital letters is fetal death. And I'm like, I finally get my son. I get everything that I want. And I kid you not, every obstacle that can be thrown at me has been thrown at me. Like, what don't I have? Y'all telling me all the stuff that I have. What don't I have? Like, what, what is normal? Oh, well, he doesn't have Down syndrome and all your other tests are coming back normal. What tests are coming back normal? Because every time I walk in here and you take a test, something comes back abnormal. Like, I don't understand this. My pre two previous pregnancies, no issues, no concerns. Gained 25 pounds, lost 25 pounds. This baby, I've gained five pounds. Yes, I had to count because it's, it's just, I'm at, I'm and all that i have not gained any weight baby wasn't growing in the beginning he's growing now i went to the doctor today um we are officially in the 50th percentile which is where they wanted me um did i do what they wanted me to do absolutely not because then he would still not be growing uh they don't want me to eat anything they don't want me to eat you know they want me to eat whole wheat bread i'm, I'm, not, I'm not i don't want to eat that um no I, they want me to drink a gallon of water I already have to go to the bathroom every two minutes. So if I drink a gallon of water, I'm going to be using the bathroom. I will use the bathroom every minute. Like I'm up all night using the bathroom because I'm trying to chug a gallon of water down before 8 o'clock every single day when I don't get up until 1130 in the after in, you know, in the late morning. So it was like, you know, do all of this stuff and everything should be normal. You know, everything should be fine. You should be good. Make sure you're following this. I ain't following none of that. And everything is good. Um, I went to the doctor today. Baby is growing. Um, I, the only thing that I changed was prayer because that was the only thing that was going to get me through. Like at this point, I was just like, God, like you, I, I have to give this to you because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. These doctors can't help me. Um, I don't know what is going on inside my belly. I can't talk to anybody else about it except my best friends. And they don't really know, you know, kind of what's going on because nobody has ever had any of the symptoms that I have. Um, except one of my best friends did have the polyhydramnio, so that was, you know, it, it, it resonated well with her. So she was able to help me lower my anxiety about it. Um, I just, you know, I was like, you know, my faith is just going to be at all time high because at right now I'm just in a position to where I don't know what's up from down, what's happening, you know, where this is coming from, where that is coming from. But listen, baby girl, <laughs> My son is blossoming and he's booming and um, his name is going to be Baby. <laughs> um, my mom and my husband have a name. They have his name picked out, but I am not sold on his name yet. Um, I don't know what I want his name to be. I, we have come up with all kinds of things. Cassie is, 
Cashes, Cash, Knox, Nolan. Um, what were some of the other names that we had? Y'all, I got a whole list. Let me see. I'm talking about, it's like, the list is ridiculous. And it goes on for four days. Okay. Okay, this is the list. <laughs> and this is it taken down. We have Cassius, Cassius, Carson, Cairo, Killian, Kieran, Cash, King, Nolan, Carter, Cole, Keanu, and Casey. I also had Ashton and Chance, Reed. Um, the only thing I know for sure is that his middle name is going to be Lamar because that's my husband's middle name. And of course, his last name is going to be DeKeliver. Um, and Elias. We, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want his name to be. Like, I just know, I just know I want him to be great. And I don't want him to be judged by his name on the job application. So I, I take into consideration all of those things because, you know, just being African American in this world today is just sometimes, you know, a, well, a man anyway, it's just not. It's just not for them. And I know that I'm bringing my son into this world with that on his back. So I just want to make sure that I provide, you know, enough nurture, enough love, um, just enough everything to just let him know that he's loved, to let him know that he's wanted, to let him know that he's smart, that he doesn't have to worry about anything. And that as long as mommy has breath in her, he's not going to have to worry about anything. Um... And as long as we got a God that we serve, he's definitely not going to have to worry about anything. Um, so, coming July 15th or sooner, because y'all, I really hope this little boy do not push it to July 15th. Like, come on, baby. You can come earlier than that. Like, 36, 37 weeks, I'm like, come on, where you at? I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be looking because low-key, my family is having a get-together in July. <laughs> it's a reunion that we always have every single year. And it is the weekend after I am due. Of course, if I have my baby on the 15th, we're not going. So, I'm um, fingers crossed that he comes in June. So, I can at least have, you know, four, five, six weeks to, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. It, it was a nice thought, though, but whatever. Um, but anyway, so, um, that's where we are. We are 33 weeks. We five days pregnant. My baby's growth is in the 50th percentile. Polyhygamnios is officially gone. Uh, the fluid is gone. It is back to normal. Um, he was weighing four pounds and five ounces today. Moving. I saw his face. Um, he is going to have a really big nose <laughs> and a nice head. He's not going to have mommy's lips. Mommy does not have full lips. Daddy has full lips. He has daddy's mouth. Um... And I'm just really excited to meet my son, y'all. I, I just, I've been a girl mom for the last four years. And I'm just like, it's time. I'm ready to meet my baby. Um, But this video, we about to wrap it up. Um, You can follow me on all of my social networks. I have Instagram, Twitter, um, Pinterest. What else? Just subscribe to my YouTube. Um, all of them are actually linked um, in my, on my banner on YouTube, you probably can't see it on your phone. So you may have to like scroll down a little bit, but if you're on a laptop or if you're looking at this on a TV, you should be able to see all the, all the links. And if not, Transparently Tamoria is the name for everything. Um, and until next time, I will see y'all next Tuesday. Peace.